Little by little, they were approaching Never Never Land. And after many hours, they finally reached it. Because the island itself was looking for them. That's the only way of reaching its enchanted shores. There it is, said Peter in a calm voice. Where, where? There, where all those arrows are headed. Indeed, a million golden arrows were pointing the children towards the island, all fired off by their friend, the sun, who was consumed as they get lost before he left them for the night. It's not necessary to go to Never Never Land to sense the excitement Peter Pan felt upon seeing an island appear on the horizon. Europe has several archipelagos whose shores are protected by the ocean and which offer the promise of finding nature close to its original state. In the eastern Mediterranean, the Cyclades Archipelago is a group of 56 islands of all sizes, on which a magnificent civilization developed 3,000 years before Christ. Cyclades probably comes from the word kiklos, which means circle in Greek. The ancients had observed that these islands form a kind of circle around the sanctuary of Delos. These bits of dry land scattered in the Aegean Sea are generally rugged and often mountainous, a landscape that at first doesn't seem to favor agriculture, yet the inhabitants of the Cyclades dedicate a large portion of their time to farming. For centuries, the islands have been producing grains and grapes. We are far from the demands of the market, far away from the continent, and it seems as if nothing here need ever change. The Romans, Arabs, Venetians, and Turks passed through these islands and left traces that give each of them its particular charm. The Cyclades are dotted with little churches whose brightly colored cupolas are inseparable from the sea in the countryside. Most of these chapels were built after the 17th century. Houses on the islands are characteristic, with simple shapes and soft, rounded lines. Homes here are painted and repainted endlessly to accentuate the contrasts, no doubt to make the sea appear all the more blue, the light all the more brilliant. It's hard to choose among the islands. Paros, with 118 kilometers of coastline, is one of the largest and also one of the most frequently visited. It's 95 nautical miles from the port of Piraeus. The capital, Parikia, the island's main port, is located on the site of the ancient town. Parikia is typical of the villages in the Cyclades, with its two-story houses, flagstones, vaulted streets, and here and there little bits of nature that fit in so well with these peaceable surroundings. <laughs> 